Hello, and welcome to this introductory webinar on running analyses and reviewing results in master software. My name is Sarah Copeland, and today I will be walking you through the steps of setting up a new analysis job, as well as the various reporting options. Master Enlightened Probabilistic Mixture Analysis software features a rapid and transparent approach to probabilistic mixture analysis, which utilizes your forensic acumen in an easy-to-use Windows environment for research, validation, and casework applications. Master software was designed following OSAC and SWCDAM probabilistic guidelines, as well as published probabilistic approaches. The analysis code is available on a confidential basis with purchase of the software. Soft Genetics has a long-standing commitment to providing support to laboratories during software evaluation, validation, and training to bring our software tools online in the lab. There are two main file types used in master. Profile files, also referred to as genotype files, which list the alleles for specific individuals at the loci that are being tested. Some examples of this file type include the reference, known, or alternate profiles, the elimination database files, and the protocol set genotype file. The second file type is the signal file. This lists the alleles for specific individuals at the loci that are being tested, along with their associated peak heights. Examples of this file type include the mixture file and the protocol set signal file. Here are examples from GeneMarker HID forensic genotyping software showing the settings needed to generate the necessary files for analysis and master. On the left are the settings for the profile files, and on the right are the settings for the signal files. However, please note that master will accept any text files of the required format from other genotyping software such as GeneMapper IDX or OSIRIS. Now I will demonstrate how to set up a new analysis job in MASTER. First, I'd like to point out the documentation section. Here you can find detailed descriptions of the calculations and settings for the program. Additional information can be found in the user manual, which can be downloaded from our website. The preliminary steps to setting up a job, as well as descriptions of the models and system views, were covered in the webinar Setting Up Master, which we encourage you to watch. Today I'll be covering the Analysis View, which lists all the jobs that are queued, currently running on the server, or that have just finished running on the server, in reverse chronological order with a default value of 10 jobs per tab page. Click New to begin inputting options for the new analysis. There are three required parameters that were covered in the introductory video. A protocol set, or SOP, which establishes the expected parameters for stutter and peak height variation based on single source data from your lab. Population frequency data. And a model, which is a set of parameters that control the MCMC process. You must also specify some information about the job, a co-ancestry adjustment, name, comments, the number of contributors, and whether or not to calculate likelihood ratios for the person of interest versus their relatives. Lastly, you import the necessary files. A signal file, which is the mixture sample file, once again this includes all the peaks including stutter and their peak heights a reference file for your person of interest that contains only genotype information. Optionally, you can import genotypes for known contributors or alternate references to test, like other possible suspects. Press View Signal to see a histogram depicting the mixture sample signal file. Press Submit Job to add the job to the queue. Master can analyze two jobs at a time, but there is no limit to the number of jobs that can be added to the queue. While this job is running, we'll click on a finished job to view its results. First, you'll see the summary table showing likelihood ratios above one in a shade of green and those below one in a shade of red. The deeper the color, the farther away from one. You can download the summary table here or open the full report. By right mouse clicking, you can also open the full report. 
delete if you have admin privileges, copy to a new analysis, download the report, or cancel a job that is queued or running. We'll click Open to see the job results in more detail. First are the likelihood ratios. A likelihood ratio indicates how likely it is that a person has contributed to the mixture. You can select between different reference or alternate profiles and view their likelihood ratios across different populations. You also have the option of displaying the LR plot versus random. This plot shows the expected range from 100 randomly generated profiles for each population. You'll notice there is a simple likelihood ratio, which is the likelihood ratio for each marker multiplied together. And there is the overall likelihood ratio, which takes into consideration the order of the contributors. These results can be downloaded as text files. Next up is the genotype set results. These plots are heat maps depicting the weighted genotypes resulting from the MCMC process. This process integrates various parameters, like degradation, stutter, and dropout, to determine the most likely genotypes that would explain the allele calls and peak heights in the evidence mixture sample. You are able to download a text file for a particular marker or all markers. The first ratio plot displays the estimated percentage of total DNA belonging to each contributor at each iteration while the second displays a histogram of these same values. Next are the degradation plots, which model a reduction in expected peak height at higher molecular weights. These plots show the estimated values for the different degradation variables as trace plots and histograms. The first variable is amount. This represents the total amount of DNA initially present across all contributors. Its units are in RFUs and can be thought of as a measure of how much amplified DNA there would have been in the absence of degradation. The mu A variable plot displays the average value of A, where A is the relative locus height due to the different amplification efficiencies of each marker. The A value for the highest peak height marker is set to a constant of 1, so the other peaks are relative to the height of the highest peak marker. The D variable represents the amount of degradation at each marker. This value also accounts for the fact that there are lower PCR efficiencies at higher molecular weight markers, so D will be non-zero even for pristine DNA. There is a component of D for each contributor, since there could be different amounts of degradation or PCR efficiencies for the different mixture contributors. If any non-constant variables are included in the model, a tab for model variable plots will be here. But since this project did not include any, this tab is hidden. The run overview lists the parameters supplied to the analysis along with the other run metadata. You can click on a parameter to see a more detailed view. At any point while viewing the results, you can copy the parameters to a new analysis, view the signal file, delete the job if you have permission, and download the PDF report. There are numerous options for customizing the report to suit the needs of your lab. This includes adding your organization's name and logo to the report. The resulting analysis report is a PDF that includes the run overview, table of contents, and any of the tables or figures we've just covered. Thank you for your interest in Master Software. For more information or for a free 30-day trial of Master and other Soft Genetics products, please visit www.softgenetics.com or email info at softgenetics.com. For technical support questions, please write to tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for watching.